Well, hello again, guys. Welcome to our broadcast. Here is our guest here, the amazing artist, Carlos Villas. Hello there, Carlos. Awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for the nice words. Well, we are honored to invite you to our broadcast here. Uh, my partner, Marcelo, is not going to make it tonight. So we are going to start with first with unscripted funny questions before we head to the actual ones I sent you. Let's go. Okay. The first one is, what is your secret origins? My secret what? Your secret origins. Origins. Uh, okay. Well, I think as, as most of the of us, I was growing since I was a little kid. That's what you mean, right? Yeah. Secret origins. That uh, where you, where is your birthplace? How did you start drawing? How did you find your talents? Okay. I uh, I'm from Mexico. Mexico City. I was born here. Uh, I painted, well, draw all my life. I have been drawing all my life, taking my painting lessons. Uh, started working as a freelance illustrator since I was like 12 or 13 years, just locally here. There was no uh, no internet and no computers for me at the time. So everything was just uh, phoning or knocking on doors and doing small covers and things like that. Then I, I had the chance to go to uh, Prague, New York, to study illustration, commercial illustration. And uh, I, I came back, but I wanted to do fine art instead of commercial illustration. I tried it for around two years, but since uh, you've seen my art, so I always do painted demons and devils, Christ, uh, weird things, so nobody bought them <laughs> for the fine art. And I, I started a business, uh, a restaurant bar, and I stopped painting for around 12, 13 years. And then I just got back in, when I saw what people were doing in Photoshop, I uh, I, I bought a, my Photoshop, uh, started painting in digital and just love it and, and got back in the uh, freelancing uh, commercial thing. And that's it. Well, you starting and giving your work and standing away from it and getting back to it with, with such level actually are making making an amazing artist skills and i, I like the, the photos and the illustrations you make actually i, I saw time i'm talking with a, a director a manager a concept artist but knowing this it's actually amazing to know that you trying and studying you are like a warrior man <laughs> yeah thank you i've taken courses uh first i love uh commercial illustration with airbrush you, you mm -hmm. saw that, that old stuff I, I just loved it and i took a couple of courses in in chicago las vegas new york uh, th mm -hmm. those were like uh, one week courses and then came, a lot indeed yeah and then came back to mexico uh, uh, practice for around six seven months and then go back and take another so I, I've been trying, I love this, so I, I, I'm learning all, I have been learning this all my life, trying uh, new approaches. Actually, when I was at Pratt, uh, they showed me Photoshop and digital illustration, and I thought at that time that was not, that was not art. Uh, I, I wasn't interested at all. Mm. Uh, I just went for oils. I love oils, and that's what I went to for the fine art. But now I'm in love with this uh, digital thing. It's amazing what you can do. Well, well, every artist has weapons. For me, it's like I start with pencils. After that, I move to clip paint studio for the inks and Photoshop for the colors using Adobe Premiere to adjust my videos. Uh, I'm using HP pen pencils, uh, B pencil. So what's your weapons of choice? At the moment, of course, digital. I mm -hmm. I usually start. It, it depends on the assignment, but I like to start with a with a blocking and 3D uh, in ZBrush. Mm -hmm. I do a, maybe a really rough block or a really almost finished sculpt, depending on the subject. Then take it to uh, sometimes to Keyshot to get a quick render, 
but usually you just go straight from uh, from ZBrush to Photoshop and then start painting over there, photo bashing, adding textures, and, and having fun. No pencils it's, anymore. It's, fun. it's so fun indeed, actually. I loved all the images you are sharing on your Facebook. I loved them so much. I didn't know which one to pick when I had to make the poster for this interview. So which one did you pick? I, I, I actually I, I used three. The one was a, a giant cyber bear. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and another one was kind of like. like uh, He's wearing a hood with tentacles and something like that. Yeah. The, yeah. And the, the 3D head, uh, the, the, the 3D head, that's the monster or the alien that you used to, you were, you posted on your Facebook, you from the base and from the side view. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I, so, love, I really love what I do, man. I, I will do it for free. It's, it's, it's amazing. I do it on sound. Mm -hmm. Saturday, so I, it's great. It's great to, to get paid doing what you would really love. It's fun indeed. Well, everyone, every artist has a secret identity. Well, for me, actually, uh, if I didn't draw or I'm not being an artist, I would be um, a cook. Um, my, Marcelo, my partner that should be with us tonight, if he didn't draw, he would be uh, a singer. So, what's your secret identity, Carlos? Oh man, I, I, well, maybe it is a kind of like an entrepreneur, entrepreneur, uh, because I was I really uh, businessman. Businessman. Yeah, I really enjoyed my 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 time in the bar, at the restaurant. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I will actually maybe have stayed there if I hadn't had a really bad experience with with the second one I was trying to open. So. Mm. It was really hard. I lost a lot, and uh, my wife and my family told me no more uh, investing on those risky things. And then I, I started painting, and, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, my hands are tied. No, no more secret identity. <laughs> yeah. well, what type of you are? You a superhero or are you a villain? Superhero. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. Since that time, I've been very good. Well, tell, tell us about your future projects. Uh, well, uh, at the moment, each time I'm getting a little more into games, and uh, games started getting into RPG things, illustration mm -hmm. for those kind of hard games. And movies, I love doing a concept for movies. Uh, I'm only getting in there. Yeah, but, but I, I would love to get in more into movies and games. They give me the more the more freedom, and I can do uh, amazing things for, for that. Well, I assure you this. Well, what are the challenges you face as an artist? Uh, well, maybe here in Mexico, uh, the things are, are a lot more expensive than in the... I'm going to say United States because that's the cheapest place for me to buy things. But for example, the computers are 20% more. The, the Cintiq monitor is like 30% more maybe. Um, so things are a lot uh, more expensive here in, in Mexico. And I think that's it because with the web, you can. it's the same to be anywhere in the world and you can connect with anyone. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's same thing here. We are facing the same issue about expensive here in Egypt. So I think it's saying it's common in everywhere. If you're not living in the States or in China or in Japan, where the art stuff are being produced, it's going to be so expensive for us. Yeah, man. It's, I'm really lucky to be in Mexico and so close to the United States. Sometimes it's cheaper. If I want to buy a, like this tick, it's the same. If I buy it here in Mexico, I can buy a, a plane ticket <laughs> over, stay two, three days, have a, a small vacation and buy it and come back. No, it would, it would be more fun. Yeah. Well, when I looked at your artwork, artwork is having a strange vibe. 
it's like having the power of the 2D with the royal of the 3D and some realistic effects from the photos. So what the programs do you use to create your amazing art? Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, it, when I go 3D and 2D, 3D for me is, is almost exclusively uh, ZBrush. Mm -hmm. I, I just started to learn a little about Blender because I, I'm loving the, the modifiers and the renders you can do there. But mm -hmm. so far, it's exclusively ZBrush. I feel like it's really organic and really easy. Well, after many years, it's really mm -hmm. easy to use. And they just uh, take it to 2D. Well, do a, uh, as I told you, do a quick render to get a... I use it basically to get the light in the light and the shadows, right? Then I go to Photoshop and start adding the the photo bashing, the pictures, the textures, then paint over it and a little more textures. Actually, I think I go, everybody tells me I go overboard with the detail and textures that I have to learn to uh, give some rest areas, keep some rest areas in there. So I'm trying, trying hard to do that. Well, so, so why did you choose this method between all methods of making art? The, the kind that you are mixing all those mediums together to get those art pieces. Uh, Why I, did you choose it this way? I don't know. I think you, sh you should always use uh, whatever you can, anything anything you can to, to get the final result. Since we are, well, even when I was uh, uh, trying to be a fine artist, mm -hmm. I love to mix oil with acrylic, with pencils, with oil pastels, anything that doesn't work. Yeah. So, yeah, in this case, uh, the only thing that's important is to do it, uh, uh, the final image to, 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 to be as good as it can and to do it as fast as you can also, because the more- Totally agree. Yeah, the more work you can, the more money you make. Our business is not only about quality, it's about being fast and producing the best quality there is. Yeah, exactly. So we totally agree with you. Yeah, yeah, because I, everything I do, maybe if I get something, maybe, uh, a little, uh, if I do something uh, with for less of a money that I usually do, mm -hmm. I give it the same effort because I know uh, when I show that thing, it's gonna bring me more more work. Mm -hmm. So you have to put all your heart and a hundred percent in in each each piece. Well, um, how do you think? while compositing your work together, attaching the 3D with the 2D, with photographs. How, how does the mind of Carlos Villas work when you do something like this? I don't know, man. I think it's been kind of evolving from, from all the courses and classes. Uh, all the things I use, I learned in, in YouTube because that's, that's amazing. Uh, each time I see a new a new technique, I, I try to apply it to what, what it works for me, and mm -hmm. it worked for me. I try to apply it to my art, but uh, I don't know. It's it's just learning from from better artists trying to 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 use it. Yeah, I love a lot of. Them. Well, uh, well, well, we got a question here from our guests. Uh, if if I'm a new artist and got some works, how can I apply to a company? How how many how many art pieces should my portfolio have so I can apply to a company? Well, there's no an answer for that. Uh, I have never worked for a company. I have been always a freelance artist, but I have seen people say that you need from six to maybe ten, no more mm -hmm. people. I do have a lot more than that, and I'm trying to get rid of a lot of them. They say you should only showcase your best work, and you should only showcase what you want to do. See, I love to do organic. I love to do demons. I love to do uh, creatures. So I'm not putting in my portfolio, uh, uh, I don't know, a, a, a room, uh, uh, I don't know how to, uh, as, as a scene that, uh, that's uh, I, I hate to do straight lines that's mm. why I, I love more organic more of uh, uh, not to use a ruler that, that's what mm. I hate when I was studying uh, graphic design 
mm -hmm. colors. So I hate straight lines in in, in here. Mm -hmm. and I try to only showcase what I love to do and just go for it. I, I, I apply once in a while to companies, but I've, I have learned that it's better to, in my case, to earn earning dollars. They pay me less for a fixed position than what I do at the moment for uh, like freelance. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's better to leave earning dollars in, in Mexico, spending pesos, mm -hmm. than go there and, and, and spending dollars. Well, so That's many artists do believe that they should work hard and don't use any shortcut to make art. They shouldn't make photos, 3D or 2D. Well, what you're saying is this. I've seen some amazing art. I would love to get a little back or have a second style, more painted. I love mm -hmm. to see or strokes in, in a lot of artists that you can see they don't use uh, 3D or they don't use uh, any textures for bashing. Mm -hmm. But for, for me, I love to do that. That's the style I have uh, fallen into. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what people uh, search me to do at the moment. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I like it. And for what I told you, uh, for me, I see it as a business and I, I try to do the, the best possible work with the, all the tools I can. I don't care if I use anything, anything that I can, to do it faster and better. That, mm -hmm. That's what I to do. Well, we got we got a question from our guests here. Uh, uh, what's your reference for the comic scripts when you get scripts? Do you use scription when you work on comic books, or do you? start designing from your mind how do you make designs for the comic book from for the characters the creatures the backgrounds how do you do so okay i get uh, many different kind of clients some are really controlling uh, up to the up, uh, almost annoying in the details that they want to they want me to do Tell me about this. Well, no, no. There are, are clients that I finish the job and say I will never work. Well, I don't tell them that. <laughs> I never had works with them. No. And they they want changes and changes and changes and changes. And, yeah, and they don't want to pay anymore for it. Oh. Yeah. So I learned this uh, the hard way. And now I do tell them. You, you get a couple of revisions. If you want more, I, I tell them straight like it is. You have to charge for the time yeah that's right at the time at the time i work mm -hmm. some mad, some understand the ones that get mad you don't you don't want them as clients and oh yeah so i have the guys that, that have already worked with me that maybe give me just one line i want a barbarian go for it and they and they let me do whatever i can and they are the guys that tell me i want a a green creature uh this size with four arms, three eyes, and, and as I start working on it, they keep adding changes, uh, keep adding things. Now they want them dressed a certain way. It, it, it varies. It, it changes a lot with each client. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have some, some nightmares, like I told you, but most of them are, are really cool right now. Well, what's your daily routine? As an artist, before the, the it said pandemia pandemic. Be uh, I I don't know what's your day before the pandemic or after the pandemic. So you can share with us uh, your daily routine before and after. Okay, yeah. Before uh, mm. my kid, I have an eight-year-old kid, seven-year-old. So I took him just to the corner for the bus, uh, the school bus, to take him. Then I went to the gym for an hour and be back like at nine o'clock a.m. here. I always work of, of, until almost two thirty. That he came back to to, house, to the house. We eat. We see uh, a small movie or a one-hour series on TV. Then I go back to work until around eight and go to go back to dinner. This time, uh, right now, it's the same, but without the gym because I can go out for the gym. My kid mm. having uh, his school up, up there, his room. So uh, I go down like at 
8 o'clock, start working at 8 a.m. I have breakfast here, uh, watching news, answering emails, and working all day until I go to eat. Again, see a little TV, go back to work, and go go uh, at 8 o'clock to have dinner and keep watching movies. Sometimes I get back to work, like at, from 12 to 3, 4 a.m., but that's only when I really uh, I'm hooked in something that I want to finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not, the, not 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 as much a deadline, but something that I all the artists loves working at night. I usually last year I I worked all nights all nights, but uh, it was like uh, one year straight, and now I'm taking it a little slower and working more on the day. But it's amazing to work at night because you don't have distractions. Mm. See. Since I work here, every time my wife comes, uh, hey, come help me with this, come help me with this. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the supermarket. Yeah, and at night you can just work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we got a question, another question. Uh, what kind of stories that appeals to you while you're working on? What kind of what? Sorry? What kind of story appeals to you while you are working on? What kind of stories do I like? To work on or uh, yeah well, what's your favorite journal while working do you like the horror books while work do you ah, like the yeah it's all horror and fantasy fancy yeah fantasy mm -hmm. monsters dragons uh lady mm -hmm. dress maybe i i i've just started drawing uh or painting ladies women mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, two years ago i used to do only men and, and creatures and they mm -hmm. just started asking me for women, and they they like it, and they now I, I do a lot of them, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's horror and fantasy. That that's my, my bread and butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, pay yeah, for the movies, and I love I love to see horror movies, and, and the badder the better. I, I love those bad old movies. Well, what's your favorite step while working, and why? My favorite what? Your favorite step while working. The step. best part of your work that you love. Ah, the tree. Uh, again, it depends, but it's usually the beginning. When I start to get the idea, like the sketch, either in 2D or 3D, then the I hate the middle part because it always looks awful. There's always a place in each in each uh, painting or image or sculpt that it looks like shit. <laughs> And then uh, at the end, you bring it all together, and, and it's, again, a great feeling. But it's the, the start and the end. The middle part is the awful one for me. So uh, if, I, if I say the, 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 the best part between making 2D art and 3D art, what's the best one and the closest one to your heart? Is it the 2D or the 3D? 3D at the moment. Yeah, it was always 2D, but but at the moment it's 3D. I, I just love the the sculpt in ZBrush. I, I love it. Yeah, I bought my uh, the iPad Pro to to try to paint in there. I I don't. I even tried the, the new Photoshop in it, but I, I I don't get the same feeling. And I was trying to sculpt in there. There's a an application called Forger and, and another one, but I'm waiting for the ZBrush uh, thing so I can sculpt in there and go everywhere sculpting. I love it. I love the feeling of ZBrush. Mm. Th that's the better for me, 3D, the best one. Mm. Well, well, we got a question here. Well, has any client ever wanted you to change your own style? Yeah, and, and I told them, why, then why do you, not, like, not with these words, but then mm. why do you want to hire me if, if that's not my style? Uh, but yes, yeah, they, they tell me, I, Please make me a, a beautiful uh, pink uh, uh, pig, like a Disney World, Disneyland kind of. <laughs> yeah, and, and maybe I can do it, but I tell them that's not what I do. And, and, and I tell them, this friend can do it, this guy can do it. It's not my thing. You're not going to like what I'm going to do. Because I, I, yeah, I start making it look evil or, or different or, or more textured. Than the balloon like. I think I think you and I have the same personality when we get to some kind of those clients. <laughs> I tell them the same thing. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's I, I don't know 
why you look for someone to do something that they don't do? But they do. I, I do get uh, at least one uh, every one or two months. Just refer them to someone else. Well, I'm getting back to the part where we, where we were talking about the 2D and the 3D part. Well, for me, I, I did like the uh, 3D when I tried to involve 3D in my artwork and use it as a background, some kind of weaponry. It actually gave my work another level, gave it my work another vibe of maybe tense vibe, more realistic thing. I, I loved how I, how I mixed between the 2D and the 3D. So I fully understand how the steps and how you are talking and how you are chatting. So, because I, I used, when I used to book, work on a book, a graphic novel back for three months ago, I used the characters, I used to illustrate the characters in pencils and ink them and clip in studio. After that, I used me blender and poser dance studio to add weapon weapons and background to those characters and i found the results fascinating so i support everyone who is watching this video to try it for once and see if you can do it if you can do it why don't you start making your own art and mixing between the 3d and 2d as carlos bills here is making a good point and a good fine example with you well i'm going to ask you is there any tip you would like to share with our audience uh tips i, I think it's just keep doing it uh, what i regret the most is uh, those 10 12 years that i stopped because you only get better doing things so uh just keep keep grinding keep doing it and, and it will come. People will start seeing your, your your work, and they will come to you. Eventually, they will come. So just keep keep working, keep working like like crazy. I don't feel it. Like, I told you, I don't feel it like work. Uh, when I'm on vacations, uh, sometimes I just want to to get a an iPad or my computer and start working or sculpting. It's it's, it's something that I just love to do. So mm. hopefully, you guys have the same feeling and, and keep doing it. And you'll get How do you keep up to date with uh, the software, the programs, the art mediums? How Carlos Villas is keeping up to date with these features and softwares? Well, I don't. I just try to. It's uh, <laughs> watching videos and buying uh, tutorials. We have a, a lot of good uh, uh, tutorials in Spanish, really cheap at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from, from a lot of places and also in english you, you can see you can get anything for free in, in youtube really you can learn anything sometimes i get asked to do i asked to do so i go i got asked to do some creatures and monsters for a for a, a game that i even knew, know how to texture i said yeah i know and i just uh, learned how to do them on how to do those things on on youtube and asking friends and, and actually made them it's it's no problem with that it's great to uh, YouTube. It's an amazing uh, tool to learn. You can learn anything there. So I try to buy a, at least one one good tutorial a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and keep checking uh, YouTube and Facebook and all the process videos and things like that. What's your favorite channel? What's your favorite artist that you'd like to follow on YouTube? Uh, see, uh, well, I don't have like channels that I follow. I, I love uh, what kind of artists changed my, the way I work. And I can't remember the name right now. And since I am using the laptop, mm -hmm. I don't have access to, to my, my other files. So I can get Mark. Oh man, let, let me see if I can find it here. Because I'm using my, my wife's uh, laptop. Uh, I have no idea. This is this guy that does, does some amazing uh, it's because he, he's not a. It, it's a strange name, Mark. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay, well, we would like to see for once your process. So if you can later record your process while working on an image, 
we would love to share it on our group and share i will i would like to share it on my youtube channel if if you done so so if, if you had in mind that maybe in the future you're going to make such a step of course i, I, I would love it so much yeah yeah of course i would love to and, uh, sorry about it. right now i would love to share the screen but uh... no it's fine well, well I, we got another question here as an artist, what's your opinion about starting a studio that does art, your own art studio, instead of working for another company? So what's your opinion about this? Uh, well, see, I, I don't really know what the, uh, really, for example, for a, a good lead artist gets paid in a studio. Hmm. Uh, but uh, for me, I, I love doing the, the freelance thing. I, I work my own hours. When I when I don't, for example, if I want to go right now, well, before the, the pandemic thing, I want to go drink with the wife or with the friends. I just go. I don't care. And I can always work like you at, at 2 a.m. from for. I can work at night and make up may make the hours back, make make up for the hours. So I love to have my own my own hours, do my own thing. For me, it's working in amazing with this. Hmm. Yeah, I, I like to be my own boss, really. Yeah, yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah, yeah. Of course. And you can uh, you can uh, choose or select your projects, and, and not just get a. You learn a lot doing what you don't want to do. Getting uh, when they take you out of your comfort zone is amazing. You will actually learn a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm fine like this at the moment. Is there a personal project Carlos Villas is working on for himself and his for own studio that he may be producing in a year or two? Uh, no, uh, I have always wanted to do my own IP, and I have mm -hmm. this idea to do some uh, creature-like uh, app or game where you just uh, switch uh, faces, uh, horns, teeth, uh, arms, thing like that. But uh, mm -hmm. luckily, I haven't had the time for the moment. I, I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I have a little, a lot of work at the moment, so I'm trying to, uh, to, to use it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, can't wait to see such project. Well, thank you very much, man. <laughs> I, also, I also always wanted to do like an art book from, like a uh, graphic novel, from my mm -hmm. own story, but also I haven't had the time. I would love to do that. How many pages is this graphic novel? Uh, I guess you, you, you can make them a, a, as big as you can. I would love to do something like for like Heavy Metal Magazine, you know it? Yeah, I know it. OK, yeah, I've done a couple of things for them, but just uh, uh, covers and colors, not my own mm -hmm. story or my own thing. So I would love to do like a, when I did a comic, uh, it was, I think it's 22 or 24 pages. Maybe a graphic novel, it's like four of them, like 100 pages, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and now you mentioned when you use 3D and you have the, char the character done already, some scenes, it's really Man, fun. This must be tiring to draw, make 3Ds and, and adjusting them to fit with 2D for 100 pages. It's a dirty work, man. Yeah, yeah, and you don't get paid until you finish, so. So uh, I'd rather stay at the moment, uh, one by one, and freelancing. Mm. Yeah. Well, I do indeed enjoy it, um, our interview here, Carlos. I would love to be talking to you again. Uh, I think our audience here likes this interview too, with uh, all the questions and asking too many about how do you pick and how do you start working. Well, we enjoyed our time. So if you'd like to add anything, feel free to do so. Yeah, thank you very much, man. I also have a blast. I'm sorry about the, the, the computer thing. But it's I, OK. It's OK, yeah, man. And I will record we, something so you can see, the audience can see how I start with a, with a 3D thing, how I bring it to, the, to 2D and quickly give it shape. It's, it's uh, OK. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. When I saw someone do that, I want mm -hmm. to do it. Yeah, it, it's really cool to see to see it done. And thank you very much for the chance. Well, thanks to you again, Carlos. We would like to be talking to you again in another interview. Anytime. Many thanks again, guys, for watching and.
Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you. Bye, Andrew. Thank you.